Run! That's an order, Marine! I can't breathe! So welcome to the uh, 28,000 mile high club. <laughs> Probably wondering what we are doing today <laughs> and uh, that's for good reasoning <clears throat> if you ever seen a hypoxia induced chamber well this is what we're gonna do essentially is demonstrating if a pilot were to lose pressurization at a very high altitude the effects that it has on his or her mental aptitude as well as their ability to perform tasks and I have no clue what we're about to go do because this is, we just found out about uh, this opportunity and we're on our way over to go do it. The FAA puts on this essentially a chamber and we're gonna get stuck in this chamber and what, what do you think? I'm gonna see how loopy we can get. How loopy. I'm pretty sure right around 27,000 to 30,000 feet is what the uh, oxygen saturation level will be at. So we'll find out. <laughs> No, I just, you're going to need your date. If you can remember it, you can put your date on. Well, you ready? I think so. <laughs> 28,000 feet or whatever. It starts at 28,000. <laughs> you guys going in though? Yeah, they're going to so. get us in. So. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Thank Not you. everybody showed up, so you're perfect. Oh, man, it worked out. Yep. Thank you. This is our approach. There's no pressure change. All we're doing is we're actually pulling the oxygen out. We're uh, separating the oxygen and putting nitrogen in, taking it from 21% down to about 7%. So you saw today you were about 30,000 feet. So there's no pressure change. We're just changing the percentage of oxygen. When you go up to altitude, what happens, you're getting 21% oxygen, but you're losing pressure. So you're getting actually a 21% oxygen in your lungs because that get pushed to a blood drink. So that's what happens you go up to altitude. So there's different ways to get your hypoxic. You can do like an altitude chamber going up to altitude. Mm -hmm. You could do this or reduce oxygen breathing device where they're mixing gases together and get your hypoxic. So there's some different ways to get your hypoxic. Same symptoms. Same symptoms. So Same they're essentially symptoms. saturating. They're removing the oxygen and adding nitrogen. That's right. So we're at 21% and they're at seven. Wow. And it equals out to about 27, 28,000 feet. So. Wow. That's why it works. We could do the same demonstration at twelve or 14,000 feet. You just have to be there for a long time. And what's the highest it could do? It could simulate. Uh, we don't easily get it above 30. But above 30? Yeah. Uh, that's what we do. I think it might, depending out west, it could yeah. do a little better. Wow. Like if we go to a 1,000 feet or, or or less, Yeah. it struggles keeping it at 25, 26. Yeah. But we're out here. We can stay up pretty close to 30,000 feet most of them. Wow. Yeah. 
That is fascinating. Recovers. So this whole setup is about 300 grand, which is cheap. Really? <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, if you put an altitude chamber in, it'd probably be about five million. Yeah. Five million. And, and that's not including the maintenance, the people to, specialized people to, to train, all the stuff. So this is this is a really cheap setup. And this just folds up and it fits right into that container? Right there, yeah. Actually, one of our guys, he has some specialized equipment that doesn't ship very well. So one of our guys drives it, equipment. Wow. So we do this around the road about every month. Every month. Yeah, pretty close. That is fascinating. Yeah. Okay, everybody except for Brownie and everybody else, go ahead and check off your cell phones for the board minute call. Four minutes, check off the system. Write down your O2 saturation rate. Hey, Robert, what's the uh, reciprocal heading of 125? Write that number down to the right of the maze and circle it. Yeah, you guys are probably the top of your class. All right, Andrew. All right, also, if you, before you leave here, do a check with yourself. And uh, is everybody back up on your O2 meter? Oh, Thanks, um, yeah, so essentially these sheets, you had to complete these tasks, which started with a crossword puzzle, some simple math, and then you would list out your symptoms. That's exactly what's going to happen. Before you go in, I'm going to get them out and just make sure they're doing okay. So yep. Kind of keep an eye on them. Yeah, they're way here. I think they're in pretty good shape. All right, you all come on out and have a seat back in your original seats. Make yourselves comfortable. We will wobble if they don't fall down, I hope. Okay. <laughs> you good, Robert? Yeah. Oh, you good. Don't worry. See, one, two, and you can put your mask on right there, sir. Right here? No, no, right, right there. I'm right here. Yeah, right here. Uh, 
82. 82. 82. Okay. Plus 5. Plus 5 is 87. 87. All right, write 87 down to the right of the maze. Mm. You're not doing my taxes either. <laughs> yeah, it's a terrible. Okay. All right, go to, the, uh, go to the four minute column. The four minute column at the bottom of the worksheet. Check off your symptoms. feels right now. Do you both feel like you can fly an aircraft right now safely? Do you think you could fly an airplane? 50-50. About 50-50? Yeah, okay. I feel like You know, when I fly, I don't say, oh, there's a 50-50% chance I want to go fly with Nathan today. I'm like, uh, I want a higher percent confidence from my pilot. Hey, Nathan. Yes. How many three cent stamps are in a dozen stamps? 36. Oh, that's good. Yeah, write that, write that down to the line of the maze. 36. How many, hey, how many apples are in a dozen apples? 12. Very good. Okay, you're back with me again. Yeah. Okay. Nathan, take a deep breath. Look at the floor. Or get that worksheet. Look down at the floor. Take a deep breath. Put that mask against your face nice and tight so you get the L2 into your lungs. But breathe deep, big deep breath. Hold it. Exhale. Uh, 74. Alright, he's at 74. No, we're past the five minute yeah, mark. You want to keep him off a while? Yeah, three right? Hey, Nathan, you gotta keep your mask up. Okay. Only one high. Fatigue. Yeah. Dizziness. You guys are passing. All right. Look at the floor. Look at the color tiles, Greg, and see if you can see a change in the colors. You guys, you guys made it six minutes. So welcome to the uh, twenty-eight thousand mile high club. I think we have a T-shirt we're going to hand out for that. You were killing it, man. That's good. Yeah, do it as quickly as possible. Bring step. everything out with you. All right, got everything? Got everything. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. I didn't feel that much different. My math went out to the absolute toilet. It went so south. What was your opinion about going 20, 30,000 30, feet? 30,000, that was pretty good. What would you say your uh, weak points were? Um, math. Okay. Uh, and, I don't know, I think it was all pretty good. I was just I did, I felt pretty cloudy. Thoughts were very, super cloudy. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah, so essentially these sheets, you had to complete these tasks. Which started with a crossword puzzle, some simple math, and then you would list out your symptoms. And your oxygen saturation was like in the 70s. Yeah, most of the, the time. The whole time. Mine, so they made me do stand up and sit down like twice. Yeah. It's interesting. And mine was in the 60s. I, I was, uh, and my math was terrible. They'd ask a series of questions and like how- like, That was like a fourth grade question too. It was like, it yeah. focuses you on something completely different. So it kind of puts it in a perspective of how fast your cognitive ability goes down with altitude, yeah. and we're at 30,000 feet, and uh, kind of definitely wakes you up. Like it makes it you. Says it's at 9, right now. Yeah, it's at nine. Yeah. So, super super cool machine, and I think it'll definitely uh, it saves lives because it puts you in a perspective like, hey, early signs of hypoxia. I'm too high of altitude. I don't have oxygen. What do I do? Or if you have rapid decompression, it did it did go by relatively quick. 
It did. Yeah. I, I saw that you wrote down every single minute what your things were saying. Yeah. I only had like two down. Two down. It, I they mean, told me what to do and I didn't do it. And they stuck us in there for like seven minutes. Yeah. They stuck us in extra long. Yeah. And we cut. I'm supposed to get a shirt. Oh yeah. What the heck? <laughs> Darn it. So that's uh, <laughs> that is the hypoxia chamber. So now you got a you have a rough idea of what it's like to be at thirty thousand feet and how much of an idiot you'll act like at thirty thousand feet. Like, what? How, how many, many stamps? How many how many three cent stamps are in a dozen stamps? Oh, I thought he said how many sets? No, how many three sets 